Hey there guys, FlightGuy1997 back with you on the third video of the Enhance Your Sim series. Today I'm going to be taking a look at how to get more eye candy for your simulator for free. In the past, I've been pretty hesitant about using any type of effect injectors in FSX, mainly because I had a really bad experience using ENB. Uh, it gave me a lot of dark textures and fatal errors. Uh, so for a while now, I have been running my FSX without any effects whatsoever. Uh, recently, many people on my streams were asking about this program called Sweet FX, and I kind of had a sort of an idea of what it was, but not really. So I headed over to AFSIM, did some research, and here's the result, you guys. Uh, you can find Sweet FX uh, version 1.5. It was released last September in 2013, uh, and the current version 1.5. A uh, couple interesting things that I noticed about it. It now comes with a GUI tool called Sweet FX Configurator. Um, so that will help to make those edits to your text files and everything. And I'll show you how that works. Uh, once we get into uh, some of the software and start making some changes and everything. A uh, little bit about it, uh, it basically has all these various effects. I'll scroll down here for you guys. You can kind of see it works for uh, most of your games, um, but there's this long list of different uh, effects. I'll go through some of the really cool ones and kind of show you guys what I would personally use uh, if I was doing a uh, stream or a video. So stay tuned for that and we'll be right back here. So I'm going to link you guys to a copy of the Sweet FX Configurator. Uh, this is actually quite a neat little tool that I found. Um, you'll want to open up the Sweet FX Config EXE file, and you'll want to. The first thing you want to do is press Add New Game, and you're going to navigate it to the EXE file, which is your FSX.exe or whatever your P3D uh, EXE is, and you'll have kind of this blank window. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, add Sweet FX to our game. So we just want to click that button right here. And what that just did was that opened up the Sweet FX folder and placed it into your main FS directory uh, where the exe file was located. And typically on older versions without the uh, configurator, you'd have to go in and you'd have to manually change the numbers and the values uh, and then save them. And if you aren't really computer savvy, you might kind of make it lost in the process. So this configurator will make it a little bit easier. Uh, it's a lot simpler with just having checkboxes. And uh, once you go into something like, for example, Vibrance, you can change certain uh, figures uh, manually and it's a lot easier to manage. So I'm going to use the configurator from here on out and uh, we'll do it that way. Now, before we get into the sim here, I want to show you guys just a couple more features with the configurator and some of the things that you can change. Uh, we can, from the configurator, launch our selected game. It'll open up your FSX EXE. Uh, we can, of course, remove the Sweet FX in one click. That will remove all of the DLL files and the folders and the textures and everything that it was using before. Um, this one's kind of important uh, with your Sweet FX uh, injector settings. You can change the uh, keystrokes, uh, you'll obviously need a keystroke to toggle your effects on and off. Uh, you can save a screenshot and you can also uh, pause it and then reload the settings uh, however you want. So you can pre-select all your key bindings and everything and it also has a preset here for your anti-aliasing. Uh, a lot of people have kind of been turned away from using anti-aliasing with SweetFX because they already have uh, an external anti-aliasing client like NVIDIA Inspector or ATI Catalyst Control Center, um, and that's kind of what I have. So I will probably not use the anti-aliasing, but by all means, do check it out, um, and you can go from there. So I'll just uh, make those at my own time here, and uh, we can also check some of the other things here. Uh, for the game settings, you kind of just have the basics, the path, and everything. Nothing really too crazy there. Um, and you can also save and load different configurations based on however you want to set things up. So nothing, nothing too crazy, you guys. I'm gonna head over to the simulator. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys just a couple of the effects and how they work. It would take me way too long to go through all of them, um, but I'll kind of do a little bit of a time lapse of me uh, editing some of these effects, and then I'll eventually mix it with some before and after footage. So I hope you guys enjoy. So you guys, I'm gonna take a look at only one of the several effects for today's video tutorial. However, when you download my settings.txt file, 
uh, you'll have my kind of complete pack with all the effects that I've chosen to use. Uh, right now I'm using the split screen and the vibrance. Uh, the split screen basically just allows you guys to see the difference uh, between what we had before and after. Uh, and then I'll do a bit more highly edited uh, split screen footage later on in the video. Uh, so basically vibrance uh, will determine the overall saturation of the image. Uh, we can use this to either have uh, more vibrance in the image with a positive value or less with a negative value. Now for the cinematic type look, I've seen that more people typically use the negative vibrance. Obviously there is a, a time and a place to use a positive vibrance, um, but for now I'm going to put it to a more of a negative value. So I'm going to put in, I'm going to put in uh, a negative 0. Point, uh, let's do 0. 0.3. Let's just see how that looks. And I can save a new config. And if we go over to the simulator, we want to reload our textures. So we press our uh, reload button. And you can see now with the split screen, I have half of my screen with the old uh, vibrant and then the less vibrant uh, throughout if we do the uh, effects. So we can kind of go back into the configurator and we can kind of play around with the settings until we get the figure that we really like. And that's kind of how you're going to go about and do this with your own configuration is you're kind of going to go trial and error for a couple hours and just kind of figure out what works, what doesn't work, what do you like, what do you not like. And uh, with that kind of combination, you can find something that you really like. So that's pretty much all there is really to Sweet FX. If you have the configurator and you can kind of mess around and change some values, uh, it's quite a simple setup. I'm going to take some before and after footage after making all my edits and stuff, and I will see you guys next week. So that was the results, you guys. I thought it was a, quite a nice add-on for my flight simulator. I think after playing around with it with a bit more, I might uh, start to use it in some of my videos and streams. Uh, it was definitely a lot more stable than ENB. Be sure to check out my file uh, for all my settings down below in the description. If you guys have any questions about SweetFX, do leave them in the comments below. Hope you guys liked this week's installment of Enhance Your Sim, and until next week, happy landings.